What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the 86 overall left pack on Marvi that just came out and he's going for 100k. Now for 100k, a 5 star 5 star left back, that doesn't seem too, you know, too bad. Now he's got 90 pace, 84 physical, 83 defending, 83 dribbling and 82 passing with 77 shooting. So it looks like he's going to be able to do the defense, but obviously help with the offense. Now he is five foot nine, so he is a bit small for a left back. But at the end of the day, as long as he cuts them like the passing lanes, it shouldn't matter too much. High medium work rates, you put stay back while attacking on this guy, he will stay back. So that's not going to be a problem at all. The five star skill moves is something I haven't had on a left back for a very, very long time. As far as I remember, the, the previous left back that I used that had five star skills was actually the flashback card Marcelo. Now, this guy has got a five star weak foot as well, which means both feet shouldn't be a problem, obviously, to pass with. He is on a anchor chem style. He's obviously on 10 chem. 94 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. This guy's going to be so, so fast down the line. He's going to be catching up all the players. And that's always a lovely type to see. 78 attacking positioning, 71 finishing, 87 shot power. No traits at all. But that's not going to matter too much because he is a left back at the end of the day. And I doubt he's going to get into any shooting opportunities. Now, he's got 80 long shots, 66 volleys and 77 penalties as well. The one thing I am looking here at the passing is the 72 vision and the 78 long passing. That could be a bit of an issue when obviously over the top in the ball down the line. We're obviously going to see if he can do it and I'm going to test if he can do it with both feet. He's also got 89 crossing, 58 free gig accuracy, 86 short passing and 82 curve. The RBAs into the middle shouldn't be a problem at all for this guy. 88 agility, 90 balance, 88 reactions, 85 ball control, 80 dribbling and 74 composure. Now, if you're one of those guys that has your fullbacks on like uh, always overlap or something like that, you're, this guy's going to feel very, very nice on the ball and he is going to have that like attacking presence to him. 91 interceptions, 86 heading accuracy, 85 defensive awareness, 97 standing tackle and 99 sliding tackle. It looks like this guy's going to put in a very, very strong tackle and that is always what you want to see, especially from a defender. But... I'm going to see if that 85 defensive awareness is enough to track his own runs. Because if it's not, that could be a bit of an issue. 99 jumping, meaning he will be out headering, I would say, 5 foot 11 or even 6 foot and below. So that's always a nice sight to see. 91 stamina, he's going to be lasting throughout the whole game. Catching players like Adama, Traore and Daniel James. So that should be all good. 85 strength. This guy is actually pretty strong for a 5 foot 9 player. He should be bodying like most attackers nowadays because most attackers are like Neymar and Messi and then players don't really have a lot of strength to him. So he sh that shouldn't be that big of a problem. He's also got 90 aggression, which means he's going to be pretty much fighting for the badge and winning a lot of like 50-50 duels. Now, today I have linked him up with Footman Suzoko and Rio. I've also got a likes of Dekore, Adama and Mares in the team. As long as they're forward at back and he is playing in their left back position, I don't think it matters what formation I'm going to play, but let's get straight into these games. Now, the first thing we always do at the start of our reviews is just check how agile someone really is on the ball. I can tell you what, the gameplay is terrible right now, but he doesn't feel too bad on the ball. Nice. Going on a little dribble run with him. Beautiful drag back, just couldn't get there. Can you fight for the ball back there? Not winning a lot of 50s. He's still like kind of tracking back for it. And I thought he was going to cut back there. But this is a like a little pace run here. Nice, good dribbles. Just a little double scoop turn around the corner. Going to act like I'm going to fake it. Going to wait for the pass. Marvis wide open. I shot the completely the wrong way. But you can kind of see that I've got him on overlap right now. And he's doing really, really well down the wing. I like him on the ball, especially the running scoop turn. I'm starting to like low-key enjoy it on him because he does it super, super fast. Use that pace once again. Come on, get down that line. Nice. And again. Beautiful little dribbles. Ah, that was super unfortunate from him. I wanted to put like put his body in the way of the player there and kind of shield him off, but it didn't really happen. Can he switch this ball completely all the way to the other side? That is a beautiful pass. The amount of power and accuracy behind that was literally pinpoint perfect. And Daniel James is completely gone. Get him involved a little bit. Come on, run down that line. Little fake shot around the corner. 
Gonna do a little skill move. He is gonna get pretty much quite lucky, actually. Little scoop turn around the corner. I'm telling you, if the gameplay wasn't as bad as, it, as bad as it is now, that ball is staying in and we're gonna create a chance there. That's an unbelievable pass from him. I'm kind of just like, kind of low-key experimenting because I want to actually see how good his pass is. So I'm starting to do these little flick-ups, trying to do, you know, like unrealistic stuff in a way to kind of see if it gets there. I'm going to go for this through ball and I'm going to see how perfect it is. That is a very, very nice through ball. Super unfortunate that he was obviously too close to the keeper. But at the same time, it looks like he can do those like cheeky over the top through balls that the opponent's not going to really expect. And that's a really good strong tackle from him. I think that's actually his first tackle. This guy's not really going down that wing too much. So I kind of have to push him a bit more uh, central. Nice. Really good standing tackle from him. That is two out of two from him. And I like it. Like, he puts in a very, very good tackle simply because he goes in, he follows through, and sometimes it looks like he doesn't just get the ball. He, literally, you know, puts a little tag on the person as well. Come on. Please work. To be fair, it nearly worked. I was trying it because I want to see if he can do that with both feet. I've already tried it with his left foot, so I tried it with his right foot, and it looks like it's pretty much the same. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to hit this back stick. Can I get it? That is so unfortunate that we didn't get a goal there. I'm starting to get used to low-key a person with like, uh, sorry, a fullback with like five-star skill moves because I'm not really used to it. I use, usually use uh, Footmas Mendy and he's got the four-star skill move, so it's a bit of a sticky one. Come on, please work. Oh my god, that is literally perfect. I saw a Dharma down that wing on like the mini map and all i had to do was just do the over the top now i i didn't believe it was actually gonna work because obviously his vision and long passing is not great but he did manage to pull it off little flip flap get the angle scoop turn around the corner beautiful little ball roll one thing i am starting to notice is when i'm doing the skill moves after the skill move he starts to take like really bad touches and it's starting to like annoy me a little bit because when i do the skill move I don't really like, I don't really think someone's going to take a bad touch and then I have to do another skill move because then it gives me like a really bad angle and I end up losing the ball. Run. You got time, you got space, keep going. Don't get bodied there, come on. That's really good strength from him and an amazing through ball to Adama Traore. And just like that, we're on a counter attack. Nice. I just simply read that. I was looking at it a little bit and I saw the player, you know, come short. Really nice shielding from him there. Yeah, that is well played. Can I switch it with the weaker foot as well? Beautiful. Nice. What I did there was I just kind of baited the guy acting like I wasn't going to move the keeper. And I simply didn't. And I believed in Thingy's uh, jumping ability there. I understand he is 5'9". And most likely that could have gone obviously above his head. But his jumping is insane. So I kind of believed in him. Run. I know you haven't got a lot of stamina. I know you, I've been low-key using you all game, but he's still on it. Little pass to Bruno. Back to him. Wait for it. Pass the back to Bruno. Can we get a goal? Right at the end, we do make it 1-0. Really nice to link up between him and Bruno. Keep going. Go. Use that pace. Little. Oh, my God. Keep going. No, ah, the skate, the skill, uh, what is it, chain skill moves came into play. I forgot what it was called there, but that is super unfortunate because he did so well just to get into that position. Nice, beautiful touch just to get away from his opponent there. No one really giving me a passing option going forward, so why not go on a little dribble with him, then pass it straight in. But you can kind of see where the like the offensive presence really is. He kind of like gives you angles that. Your opponent don't really expect you to get with especially a left back. Use that pace once again. This guy is so, so fast. And that is against Lena, like that right back. That is super, super fast. He's got the physical stats. He's got the strength. He's got the tackling. And look what he's doing to him. Ah, just loses the 50-50 battle there. Super unfortunate. He's challenged him towards the pace. Acting, I'm going to not read this. Go on, shift him out the way. That's a beautiful shift, especially against Lena, a person that I did actually rate very high in my tier list. And look at that switch of play. This guy can pretty much do it all. Oh, that is super, super nice. Going to little go for a little through ball there. 100%. That is not what I aimed it for. I aimed for Sissoko, but 
I, I feel like I did it a bit too early. There you go. I waited for that. I literally just waited for him to commit. Little ball roll. Scoop turn. Come and get the shot off. I was meant to do a scoop turn to get a better angle there. But he did the fake shot. Super unfortunate, obviously. But at the end of the day, that little, like, yeah, what do you call it? I can't remember what you called it. The rainbow flick, sorry. That little rainbow flick over the player was insane. He's so calm and composed. You can literally do everything with him on the ball. And, like, he will always come out with it. And he's obviously one of those, like, left back that is quite jammy, if you know what I mean. Where no matter what happens, he will always come out with the ball. Even if the player tackles him. There you go. What I did was just acted like he was wide open, but he really wasn't. It was simple as that. I went straight for the parting lane and cut it off. So it is time to review him and let me say, Amavi, what a card. I honestly thought it was going to be one of those cards where EA just throw out a random player and, you know, just like you expect it to be half decent or at least good but not as good as Amavi. He has very, very impressed me. And I tell you what, this card low-key could be the real deal. But there is a bit of a problem with this card. And I'll tell you that in a minute. Five foot nine, really nice. He hasn't got that interception reach to obviously go into like the corners if you kind of trying to obviously trying to cover the line. That's a bit of an issue that I did see with him. But if you do read it perfectly, 100% he'll get it. High, medium, if you stay back while attacking, he will obviously stay back. If you put join the attack, he will obviously join the attack. It's simple as that. The, with the work rate for a like a fullback, I don't think it matters too much. The 5-star skill moves, I haven't used a 5-star skill move player since that flashback Marcelo. And I'll tell you what, a left back wise, sorry. And I'll tell you what, I have missed it. Like going on little runs with your left back time to time is always fun. Especially like if you're winning a game, you can just like kind of give the ball to a Marvi and just show off. And that is always a lovely sight to see. Kind of enjoying playing FIFA. Five star weak foot. This guy can switch the ball with both feet. And that is insane. He can over the top through ball with both feet. And just play like tick attack of football with both feet. And for me personally, that is like a big deal on a fullback. Because if a fullback has like a two star or even a three star, sometimes if you pass it with the weak foot, they do low key screw up the pass. And the fact that he didn't screw up a single pass impressed me a lot. Pace wise, he is super, super fast. Like fast through the like another level. But that's when you're playing in obviously good gameplay. I played in bad gameplay in that first game. And I could not get my head around this guy. He was like low key slow, but then fast. I don't know. It was like the gameplay was like speeding up and then slowing down. I really couldn't get my head around it. Finishing wise, I did actually have one shot of him. He did like a really, really good skill run down the line and then ended up shooting. I probably should have finessed it. But at the same time, I don't think it would have been, it would have made that big of a difference because 71 finishing. It's just inconsistent inside the box, but you're rarely going to find him inside the box anyway. Passing-wise, the short passing was unbelievable. The long passing was unbelievable. Like, the flick up uh, over the tops that I did is obviously, like, a low-key glitch in this game that a lot of people still don't know about it. And I'm low-key trying to keep it a secret, but, you know, between us in a way. But anyway, like... The way he could switch it with both feet over the top from one side of the pitch completely to the other kind of shows that 72 vision and 78 long passing is more than enough. Dribbling wise, he felt really, really good on the ball in good gameplay, but so, so clunky in bad gameplay. And when I did a skill move, the ball sometimes went too far away from his body, not because of the chain skill moves, but simply because there is some animations this guy gets where he feels a bit clumsy and that is something I especially don't like and that's why I didn't really I don't really use Alexandro because he kind of has the same problem interceptions really nice make sure you're obviously into the straight into the passing lane if you don't know the passing lanes you just have to learn it over obviously experience but if you don't this guy's not going to really reach out to the ball so that will be obviously a problem defensive awareness he did track runs so that's always a nice sight to see standing tackle and slide tackle this guy goes in hard he doesn't just get the ball he takes out the player at the same time Jumping wise, a really good header. He was winning headers over, I can't remember who exactly it was, but I remember he won a few headers over him. 91 stamina, lost him throughout the whole game. He's going to be tracking for, he's going to be tracking Adama Traore, Daniel James throughout the whole 90 minutes. 
strength wise he was really really strong and bodying players like left right and center so that's beautiful the aggression was my favorite thing about this guy though 100 percent the fact that he can literally be like one like one step like he's from point a to point b in literally a split second that's what i'm trying to say and the fact that he was fighting for the ball he was getting a lot of 50 50 he was getting a lot of like quote unquote bs if you want to call it and for me if that's if the bs is going my way i'm not complaining it's simple as that now i have to give this card a rating out of 10 and i did really enjoy him and i do i believe he's worth 100k i 100 do but I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10 because he has some animations that is a bit weird time to time. But I am going to give him a 9 out of 10 because 100% this guy is worth 100k. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment and for now, peace.